Our starting point this morning, the Trump administration has formally started withdrawal of the United States from the World Health Organization, making good on threats over the U.N. health body's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. And that process will take around 12 months to complete. And for more, we have our Kim Sung-min on the line for the details. So Sung-min, President Trump had did earlier state that his intention to do this, and now it's gone formal. Yes, Sam, and the withdrawal decision has been confirmed by U.S. State Department. It says the Trump administration on Tuesday notified the United Nations, which is the depository for the WHO, of its formal withdrawal from the organization. U.S. Senator Bob Mendez also tweeted Tuesday that U.S. Congress received notification from President Trump about the news. However, as you mentioned, this was not out of the blue. President Trump expressed his intent to pull the U.S. out of the WHO in May, blasting the institution as a tool for the Chinese government. This was after the U.S. launched an investigation to identify the origin of COVID-19 and accused China for being responsible. As the U.S. is the WHO's largest single contributor, funding around 400 million U.S. dollars a year, it could deal a massive financial blow to the organization. That was around 15 percent of the WHO's total budget in 2019. And the sudden absence of such a large contribution comes amid, as I said, a spike in COVID-19 cases in the United States and other parts of the world. So what are some of the reactions that we've got, gotten so far and how will this process unfold in the months to come? Well, the decision came despite the criticism from congressional lawmakers, even from within the Republican Party. Earlier this month, House Republicans urged President Trump to change his mind, saying the U.S. could do more in its response to the pandemic if it stays within the WHO. Especially since the U.S. has seen more than 3 million COVID-19 cases, the world's worst affected country, there's a possibility the move could face barriers during the year-long withdrawal. Experts say a lot hinges on whether President Trump wins re-election in November and if the idea draws support from Congress. Until then, the decision could be reversed. Back to you, Simon.